Hi guys, hope you guys are doing good today. Um, today's question is how does an artist harness um, the feelings of self-doubt when they create? This is actually an issue for pretty much every artist out there is um, especially when you're learning or you get that one drawing or creation that you just cannot get right or you just cannot get it to a stage that you feel is going to have a good enough outcome. Um, what I tend to do in situations like that is I find my inspiration by works that I might have struggled with before or um, artworks that I have just done before so whether I've struggled with them or not I have a look at what I have managed to do and try and figure out what it is that's creating the doubt in my mind with the current creation that I might be um, struggling with and then when I have a look at what I've done before and have a look at how I have developed over time um, that feeling of self-doubt self kind of evaporates because you find that, I don't know, you find that you can always, it always turns out the way it should in the end, it always does. And I have started redone pieces before, so maybe your doubt in the current creation that you have um is an opportunity for you to start fresh start over don't think of it as being a burden because you've spent so much time in something and now you have to start it all over again think of it as an opportunity to learn what it is um, that can set you back and then overcome that by redoing it and inevitably it will probably end up much better and you'll be satisfied with the result if you find that you have self-doubt before before you have even started, then this is particularly the time where you need to reflect on why you create, why you paint, why you draw, and find those things that make you happy in achieving um, a sense of, I don't know, a sense of sense of yourself so just just keep looking for what it is that gets you to the point of creating and focus on that do not focus on the doubt what the worst that can possibly happen is you don't like the outcome so you try again that's the worst that can happen so why why build it up in your head until it gets to a point where you are so frustrated and annoyed that you don't continue. That is the worst thing you can do, is you can stop and not try again. That will build up those, the self-doubt even more and you will feel disappointed in yourself because you haven't accomplished the result that you want, because you haven't pushed forward. So try, if, it, if it's something that you've created and you're unhappy with it, try again. Yes, it might have been time wasted, but you know what? It's experience gained. So just try again. If you have self-doubt before you've started something, reflect back, reflect back on why it is that you do what you do and only focus on the positive aspects of that. Push off anything else that isn't positive um, in relation to your creations. Um, also, things that can create self-doubt are other things people that kind of stuff you quite frankly just have to ignore pretend that no one else exists and no one is going to be reflecting on your work other than you you need to be satisfied in your work not everybody else and if usually it's only one person that can get you down like that but it's one out of many that decide to give you a negative comment and Look at the many. Don't look at the one that keeps putting you down. Because usually the one that keeps putting you down is the one that doesn't even have the ability to do what you do and persevere. So keep those things in mind. Don't have self-doubt. There are ways to get past it. You just have to find them for yourself. And, um, and keep pushing forward. Keep retrying if things fail. Because in the end, you will succeed.
you just have to keep trying. So I hope that kind of gives some of you a little bit of a boost because that self-doubt has a way of creeping in sometime and sometimes it is a little bit difficult to overcome but try and focus on what works and try and push that off your shoulder because self-doubt does not get you anywhere. So I hope you guys have a beautiful, positive, happy day and thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys next week. Bye.